The Portland City Council unanimously agreed to foreclose six properties that have been considered a nuisance to surrounding neighbors. Councilors agreed this is a big step in transitioning properties that have been the center of squatting, drug use, and other questionable activity into new ownership. Fox 12's Connor McCarthy spoke to neighbors about this vote. He joins us live now from North Portland to tell us about what happens next. Well, Pete and Riel, this property here behind me that's fenced off on North Kirby Avenue is one of six properties that has been officially foreclosed by the city of Portland. Now, if you were here in 2017, you may recall the house that once stood here behind me exploded due to a butane heater being used to make hash oil. Now, I did uh, visit three other properties and neighbors around there say that the foreclosure of these properties is a long time coming. Six nuisance properties that will hopefully have a new property owner. It used to be a really nice place, um, but now it's just like, it looks like a crack house. Ty Schrader lives next to one of the properties in southeast Portland that was officially foreclosed by the Portland City Council on Wednesday. He says for years, the property has always been an issue. A bunch of people started squatting there, and it became a, just a big squat house. And... Um, there's like 15 to 30 people living there at one time. He says the property has improved a little bit, but squatters are still getting in. There was evidence of drug use on the property with a used fentanyl test strip still in the driveway. There's junk and the rat problem has gotten really bad. The other five properties foreclosed by the city include one on Northeast Halsey Street and one on Southeast 131st Avenue. Here on North Detroit Avenue, neighbors tell me off camera that this property has attracted squatters and questionable vehicles. It, too, has been abandoned for years. You may recall this massive commercial fire in 2017 along the Willamette River that created an asbestos scare. The property is another that will be auctioned off by the city. In addition, the property on North Kirby Avenue, where a house blew up that same year because of a butane explosion used for making hash oil, is now under the city's control to be sold off to new owners. Because of 12 months, property sitting empty is just a... Uh, Sometimes we're just watching the clock drain out um, and there's no need in many of these cases. We need to make sure we're not forgetting about the importance of customer service to the neighbors in these, near these properties. And it's the last step before we can wash our hands of it. The city council also acknowledged the need to keep these properties secure and free of potential intruders before they're all auctioned off. Commissioner Mingus Mapp says it will take about a year until the land will be ready to be sold. I don't have a solution for that today. I think we all know that we are likely to hear about these properties in the interim. I just want to uh, express my willingness to work with my colleagues, probably Commissioner Rubio in particular, um, and figuring out how we can make sure that these properties stay clean and safe. Schrader says he's happy the city is moving forward with trying to get the nuisance property near him into better ownership. It's taken a long time. It's a very slow moving process. I think it's um, four years, I think it's been going on for. Well, Pete and Riel, again, what will happen next is the city will auction these properties off after officially being foreclosed. Now, the money from the auction that will be raised will help go pay back the liens that were put onto these properties to help get this foreclosure in process. But for now, reporting live in North Portland, Connor McCarthy, Fox 12, Oregon. Okay, Connor, thank you.